Vladimir Lepchenko, thank you so much for being with us on USTA.com. Big win. Tell us about this victory over Yelena Jankovic that's put you into the third round of the French Open. Uh, I think it was an amazing win for me. I just try to play my game and execute my plan and uh, it all worked out in the end so I'm, I'm very happy to be through. During the match it was, it was a, bit, a bit like a roller coaster wasn't it? Um, during yeah, during the first two sets, it was a, a bit of like a roller coaster, and uh, but at the end, I pulled myself together and you know, fight it. H how did you um, keep, remain focused, you know, and stay so concentrated during the match as it went up and down? Um, I mean, I think it's uh, all the process, the uh, practicing, you know, uh, um, practicing my focus during the. Um, my training sessions and uh, uh, trying to stay focused uh, before the match and uh, trying to talk to too many people. Just, you know, just uh, it takes training and practice. Yeah, okay. Now, to be the former world number one, would you classify this as the biggest win of your career? Um, <laughs> well, I. I don't. I mean, one of them, one of the, one of the biggest ones. So I, you know, I had quite few. So it's one of them. What's it like playing out here? Oh my gosh, I I love uh, Roland Garros, and uh, it's one of my favorite um, uh, Grand Slams. I mean, they're all my favorite, especially when I play well. <laughs> so. I, yeah, I've been starting it out here, like m to show the results, and that's my first Grand Slam. I think that I got through the first round, mm -hmm. so I always feel like it's a special place for me, and it, um, I have like a spiritual uh, things following me here. <laughs> so, yeah, with Paris, it's one of the obviously we all know it's one of the great cities of the world, and, and obviously. Also, have to say that your focus and concentration is on playing over here. But do you, have you had a chance to to get around? Do you, do you give yourself a little bit of time off during these uh, days at a Grand Slam, and when you're in Paris, especially? Uh, you know, yeah, I've been very lucky uh, to have two days off, and um, I, I went um, and, and and shopped a little bit. Oh yeah, do yeah. tell. Uh, well, that was actually a gift from my dad for my birthday. From um, uh, I got a little purse at Chanel. Oh, did you now? <laughs> we'll, get, yeah. we'll, we'll get back to birthdays in a second, but in the next round you got Francesca Schiavone. Oh, she won? Uh, um, yeah. Oh, okay. And um, you played her not that long ago. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's it's funny because last year she played, I think she played Jankovic, right, mm -hmm. in the third round, and they were in the same in the same uh, draw. Um, yeah, I played her and I um, I have an experience playing against her, so it would be, you know, interesting playing well, what her gonna, again. <laughs> yeah, what do you have to do to, to, uh, to beat her, I think, once more? Uh, you know, just play my game and stay focused from the beginning to the end and, uh, you know, hopefully that will work out mm -hmm. for me. We get back to birthdays now. You, you, you celebrated your birthday just a, a week or two back in, in Brussels. A week during back, the, yeah. a week back. Mm -hmm. uh, and you tweeted, wanting advice. Now, I sent you a message. Yeah. Go to the Neuhaus chocolate shop. The problem was that we had so many chocolates at the players' lounge. It wasn't just chocolate, it was uh, waffles and it was uh, some candies all over the place. So it was just like traps all over the place. And I, you know, I couldn't take your <laughs> traps, advice. Eh? Yeah, I couldn't take your advice because it was enough of the chocolate around and uh, I had to get out of there. I had to run. <laughs> Have you got a sweet tooth? Um, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I had enough. <laughs> well, maybe it'll be, you'll, you'll get the sweet tooth back with a bit more celebration over here at the French Open. Vivara, thanks very much. Thank you.